Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on ISTQB Advanced Test Analyst. We are in chapter 1 and we are looking at the next tutorial that is 1.9 Test Closure Activities. We only need to know from the foundation that there are certain activities which are being conducted once the cycle completes. That means all the execution is over and we generally have a lot of other activities as a part of postmortem activities which we conduct during the test closure activities. So as a part of test closure activities, we have already learned from foundation that the activities are generally about archiving the details, uh, documenting the acceptance of the system, making sure the deferred defects have been documented properly. If not, then we also include uh, what version are we expecting them to close. And also there are a lot of other things including the retrospective meeting which is being held between the team and the analyst as well as the test manager to address that what are the things which went good and what are the things which went bad. From bads you can learn the lessons and good can be an addition to your practices which you can add from the upcoming cycles or maybe new project or in, in case of Agile you can call it as the next cycle in this uh, sprint which is coming up. So generally during the test uh, closure activities a test analyst responsibility is to make sure that it, uh, all the work products are being gathered. That means preparing the documentation or archiving the reports, you know, making sure everything is archived for the maintenance purpose, the ongoing outcomes, the logs, the reports, and everything is being shared with the maintenance testing team to take care of further updates and upgrades, and many of similar things which happens uh, will be taken care of by the test analyst to be monitored at that point of time. Also, it is important for the test analyst to attend the retrospective meetings and address or understand the queries or situations which we had during the uh, execution of the project or the testing life cycle and declare the entities as either good or bad to suggest test manager if required to take any necessary actions for the future aspects. So altogether, test analyst plays a vital role at this point of time in terms of making sure that what work products were supposed to be created has been created, making sure the team participates in the retrospective meeting to make sure that uh, they have contributed uh, to their optimum to make the process uh, improvements, and at the same time also coordinating with the test manager in case the test manager cannot attend the meeting or maybe uh, to contribute the test manager from the perspective of being a test analyst in, in terms of giving inputs about the process, the variations, the flaws, so that the test manager could take these inputs and make the necessary decisions about upcoming cycles. So uh, that's all uh, from this particular tutorial team. The test closure activities are all about that and the test analyst generally takes care of making everything is happening on time, on schedule, and all the necessary steps have been taken or not. Further, of course, we'll be coming back with the next chapter, that is chapter two. We are done with the chapter one in this tutorial, but before that, we'll be having sample questions from this chapter, so stay tuned for that. In case you have any query, feel free to comment below. I'll be there to address you. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video team, and happy learning.